It's snowing! <laughs> I wasn't expecting this today to be honest. But uh, it's starting to settle. Also seems to be starting to slow, but it's been on and off, so we'll see. Be nice to have a bit of snow, but uh, I'm getting wet. <laughs> uh, got a weird tent for you today. It's uh, a weird AliExpress tent. Now, I did that Timu tent a while ago, and it turns out Timu saw it. And um, they emailed me and they sent me a refund for the tent because it leaked and was rubbish. I mean, I feel a bit bad because I was expecting it to do that, <laughs> but... I thought I'd spend the money, I spent it on AliExpress, I got a weird tent, so uh, I guess let's have a look at it. This is it, pretty big. Um, this isn't a dirty protest, I've not judged it just yet. It's called like a lung box, or loin, loin box. I don't know, I'm going to call it a lung box. Sounds like kind of one of them respirator things. I uh, guess we'll have a look at it. Where's the zip? Oh, interesting. Oh. oh God. Before I fully pull that out, it's like a pop-up tent. I'm gonna look see if there is any instructions. <laughs> Aha, gotta love sewn in instructions, and it looks like I was pretty much doing it right, though I don't speak Chinese. Ah, uh, pull out the sides, then the top. Right, give that a go. Ah, you gotta pop them. This is exponentially growing. I'm inside. I can't see a way of popping the uh, roof one up without actually doing it from the inside, so hopefully May have to peg it first, we'll see. Look, simples. So as you can see, I've bought a Martian pod <laughs> or a moon base. It's like a geodesic pop-up tent, which is quite clever, really. I just have to shift it into position, peg it out, see if I can get it more taut and stuff, and we'll, we'll see. Look, it's got snow skirts, and it is snowing. Well, just about now. <laughs> Maybe it'll snow later. We'll get to test that out properly. And this is winter camping in the UK. Everything gets muddy. Let's have a look at the pegs and guys we get with it. Ooh. Fancy, but they are just straight ones, which aren't fantastic, but they're big. So it looks to be, I could either guy from the rain skirt or these tabs underneath. I'll probably choose these tabs. Get that nice and tight. And I'm right by a rock. Right, she's pegged out, so she's not going anywhere. So I think we should have a little look around it. Got three vents around the outside with mesh behind. So cool. And there's also three vents Around the top, oh, that's the muddy one, <laughs> with uh, mesh behind as well. So uh, you can get circulation of air. I guess you could... Well, there's actually four around the outside, I guess, because the door was stopping another vent down the bottom. I guess you could convert one of these to make it a hot tent. But I've got another way of heating this tonight. Hmm, tabs on the inside, I wonder if they meant for an inner. This is the inner, though. I'm assuming the other bit's the outer. We'll find out in a minute. If not, you could uh, run lines to dry clothes, stuff like that. Oh, all the snow's melted. <laughs> Let's have a look at the door. We have a mesh inner door and normal outer door as well. And it does have a lip here. 
Not too bad, actually. Oh, snowing again. So many aeroplanes today. Maybe they've seen this UFO and they're looking for it. Um, guessing this is the outer, which I think is just like a rain fly for the top looking at it. Maybe. Maybe it's the floor. Wind's coming from this side, so that might help me. Ah, not just a pretty face. So I'm looking at the pictures on the website. Not one of them show an outer on. A buzzard. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't really want to ruin the style of it. The thing is, it is snowing. Do you think it'll hold up? <laughs> I might leave it as is and put it on if uh, I absolutely have to. Sorry, just watching <laughs> fly past. Yeah, so I might test fit it so I know what I'm doing. Okay, so I've determined it's not an outer, it's not a rain fly. This is it, what you get. So fingers crossed, um, this must be a floor. Instructions would help. <coughs> Can you hear that? It's snowing pretty hard again. Right, I'm going to get a bed set up in here, I think. Looks like there's room to do that. Let's get the cot bed out. Well, it's holding up to snow. What about if it melts? <laughs> right, let's get this bed together. So I've got a very weird sleeping bag to try out today. I'm going to do a separate video on it on the review channel, but uh, I'm not going to show you it just yet. I'll give you a sneak peek later, but um, <laughs> you're going to love it. <laughs> got my little table with me. I can go down over here for now. And here is the reason for that. I've got my gas stove, but not just for brews and stuff. Because I also have my tent heater, which I can't remember if it even fits on here properly. Ah, yeah, it's fine. So it's just as well, really. There's so much ventilation in here because uh, you don't want to use a gas stove inside your tent without kind of ventilation. Probably advisable not to do it at all. <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. It is still coming down out there. Got a good coverage now. And on top of the tent as well. So once this tent heats up later and the snow melts, it's going to be a test to see if there's any drips. <laughs> I do like it though. It went up very easily once I knew exactly what to do. You just have to pull out every panel basically and it just pops into place. Uh, we'll see how well it goes down tomorrow and it's probably going to be wet or snowy or who knows what. Now I suppose I should get some firewood because it's going to get pretty cold soon. I've got a little stash nearby but uh, it's not going to be enough.
And this will come down in a storm so I can just take from it. Snow's getting pretty heavy again. Ooh, tired me out. I may have to go get some more, but the uh, sort of snow howl mix was coming down a bit heavier. If I'd save the camera and the uh, saw. <laughs> Every time it snows, it then melts a bit and it's making everything very muddy and then it snows again. That's my wood prep done. Cooling down a bit now, I've stopped being active. <laughs> I can probably chill for a little bit before I light the fire now. Got an hour till it starts getting dark. And, uh, well, I suppose I could set up bed and stuff, though you're not allowed to see the sleeping bag yet. <laughs> There's no actual hanging point here, but I can hang off of the frame with the uh, light. Well, because my truck's not all that far away and I had time, I thought I'd go get my chair. It's my big comfy one. Ah. Well, all set up with time to spare. That doesn't seem to happen all that often. <laughs> I could get more firewood, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be outside all night. I'll uh, retreat inside the tent and try out the uh, tent stove heater, which I have used before in the cardboard tent a while back. But... Uh, Got some nice cooking coming up. Got two Mexican dishes, dinner and then breakfast. So I'm looking forward to that. And the second I sit down, the snow starts again. <laughs> I can always sit inside for a minute. Whenever I'm outside, I've got a little robin friend hanging around. It's been a while since I've had a robin hanging around when I'm camping. Just hopping around out there, curious creatures. I would say I'll try and film him, but I'll never get it. <laughs> we'll see how close he comes.
I might have a cup of tea to warm myself through before I light that fire. I'm just getting some fire lighters on this fire lay. Need to try and keep this fire off the ground a bit because it is cold and wet. Well, we're outside, fire's lit, snowing a little bit on and off. Not so much right now, might as well take the hood down. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, stoke this fire up, get warm, and then I suppose I'll cook my Mexican dinner. Fire's going good, I'm right next to it, getting some heat here. But uh, it's beer time, I've got a neck oil. Of course I have. <laughs> Cheers everybody. Oh, that's cold. It's a refreshing beer. I need to uh, build a fire reflector in this spot. So I use this spot quite often, because it's one of the only flat spots in this woodland and you've always got a prevailing wind from uh, a field up on that side and especially in winter when there's no foliage Right, it's time to start dinner and first off I've got to uh, get the skin off of these, soften them up and I'm going to put them on the coals to do that. Fire's been going a little while now so I've got quite a few coals so I'll just break some up over on this side and stick the chilies on them. Alright, I think it's time to take these off. Got the hood up because it's quite windy so stopping that chill um, they're off the fire and uh, I've covered the bowl let them steam away for a bit and that's going to make the skins easier to come off and easier to manipulate them get the seeds out for the next stage I've got some uh, really thin steak slices but they're not thin enough for what I want to do now I've got a tenderizing hammer thing at home for doing this dish but uh, yep didn't pack it of course so gonna have to be my plate. 
<laughs> I've got my chilies here and a spoon and a knife and uh, I'm not worried about cross-contamination because it's all being cooked start it off with the knife and you should be able to use the back of a spoon to help scrape off the skin now I'll only show one of these or it's going to get a little bit boring still snowing lightly so I'll get this off that's the skin off so I'm just going to take off the stalk cut on one side expose the inside and I'm just going to scoop out the seeds and the membrane there making a little bit of space okay so that's the chilies all done and de-seeded some come out better than others and this is halloumi which is quite similar to a kind of queso blanco type cheese um, what I want to do is stuff them with pieces of cheese about the same size like yay and then we're going to wrap them in the beef now I've cut some strips of beef to about the right size and we get your chilies and wrap them into little parcels thinner the better this is not thin enough really but uh hey ho now i wanted some cocktail sticks to help hold these together but uh, i didn't have any and neither did the shop so i'm just going to wrap these up and save them for in a minute you're going to have some off cuts of cheese and beef don't worry about it throw it in fry it off it's going to be fine so all I've got here is some onion, garlic and some uh, sweet pepper and I'm just going to chop them up and that's going to be for like a salsa kind of sauce and uh, we'll get that on first before we fry off our beef chilli cheese stuffed treats I'm going to fry off my onion and pepper first That a good stir. Them softened up, I'm just going to put some garlic in there. Just give that a minute or so. I've got some passata there. And some seasoning. I'm going to put some hot sauce in, I just have to find it. <laughs> just cook that down a bit. It's time to fry these off. Some of mine are falling apart a bit there, but not to worry, it's all in there. I'm just going to pour over the sauce. And that's going to ensure that gets cooked through. I'm not going to lie, mine have come unraveled. It's easier in a kitchen. <laughs> now you don't want to overcook that beef might not put it all on the plate just yet but everything is there and just a little bit of coriander makes it well it may not be pretty but uh, it's going to taste pretty good I've done this before and uh, it looked a lot better at home it's a lot easier to do at home get that beef nice and flat put some uh, toothpicks in hold it all together and don't move it around too much when you sauce it. Mm. Oh, 
It's a spicy one. Mmm. <laughs> There's a flavour explosion. Takes a little bit of prep, but you know, these things are worth it. Wow, wee, that was hot. I've left a couple of the peppers, they were hotter than the last time I made it. Got quite a runny nose. <laughs> Definitely time for some lubrication. Oh, tingly mouth. Really nice though. Really good. You can use maybe padron peppers or something if you're uh, don't like uh, spicy. Though that's a bit of a roulette. <laughs> I'll do it with bigger sweet peppers. But yeah, that was nice. <sighs> We'll retreat to the tent in a bit out of the cold still getting flurries of snow but nothing to speak of the heat from the fire is kind of going into the tent and melting what's on top a bit but yeah be interesting to try out the um tent heater in there Well, I've got that heater on the gas stove there, turned it right down, and I can feel it already, really quickly. A bit easier than uh, lighting a wood stove. <laughs> Not as fun though. But yeah, I can feel that already. Gonna start hearing the uh, snow dripping off. There's a few points I'm a little concerned about, but they're lower down. For dripping, I mean, for ingress, we'll see. But uh, I'm pretty comfortable. Nice and big in here. I could have had my big table as well, but I didn't need it and I would have had to carry it. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, suppose I'm going to have to show you my sleeping bag in a bit. But I'm going to enjoy a beer or two and some warmth. Might even open up one of the vents just to stay safe. Having a bit of problem with gas here. They're a bit cold, but uh, alternating them, one warms up while the other one cools down, seems to be working. I'm going to try and boil some water on the top of this heat diffuser thing. First time I've had my hat off in ages. <laughs> well, it worked, it didn't take too long actually. Oh, nice hot chocolate. So, I'm gonna have this and then I suppose I'm gonna have to show you the sleeping bag. And here we go, <laughs> I can uh, put my hands and feet away. I would not recommend having the hood done up. Whew. Uh, I can wear boots as well and yeah it's a full body suit. <laughs> I saw it and I had to. So this is me tonight, it's going to be extremely strange. Sorry that's as far away as the camera can be from me. But, uh, I don't know, it might be okay. I'm feeling quite warm now, but then I've got the heater in here. But, uh, I suppose I'll say, 
good night from the spaceship tent. Good morning. It's uh, very cold. Now oh, I've got a runny nose. <laughs> oh dear me. I um, had trouble with the gas canister last night, or two of them, and was alternating them so one could warm up while the other one was in use. And um, I had a third one, so I slept with it. Um, and that's given me a nice boost of heat. <laughs> See, he seems to be going down now. Them canisters aren't great in the winter. <laughs> but yeah, I had some weird dreams last night. I also heard, or at least I think I heard, a tree come down. I definitely did because it woke me up. It was over in that direction, so I have to investigate. Luckily it wasn't on me. But yes, it's a very cold morning. The uh, snow, there's only a little bit left out there. A little bit of a sunrise. But, um... I was thinking of cooking on the gas stove for breakfast, but I just don't think it's going to cut it in this cold, so I think I'm going to have to get the fire going again. Some smaller bits. Some more fire lighters. Hmm. Could have broken these down a little bit smaller, but I'm cold. <laughs> Still cold, still see a little bit of that sunrise as well. Well, the uh, fire's going as the gas has kind of died down or cooled down to the point that it's just not doing much. Oh. Well, I'll get warm and I should make some breakfast, I guess. Can't stay here all today, unfortunately. Um, nice Mexican breakfast, though. You'll like this. I've got some prep here to do, and that's going to be. An onion, some garlic, got some lime, some coriander or cilantro, whatever you'd like to call it, and from a tin, some tomatillos. I'll start off by dicing up the onion pretty finely. The garlic here doesn't actually have to be that fine because I've got a pestle and mortar. Be 
pieces of garlic like this. It should do. I've got my pestle and mortar, I'm going to put some garlic in there. I'm just going to put in some salt and pepper to help it along. And start grinding that to begin. And a little bit of green chilli pepper, not too much after last night. <laughs> I'm going to start to add in the onion, bit by bit. I'm going to start adding in the coriander or cilantro, depending on where you are. Look at that beautiful green colour in there. Now, my tomatillos. Let them one at a time, see how many I need. It's very hard to get fresh tomatillos here in the UK. And these ones, they tend to be a little salty from the brine. Ooh, look at that coming together. Finally, I'm just going to put in some lime juice. And there we have our Salsa Verde mix. I'm going to warm my Salsa Verde through here. And if I can fit this on, I'll uh, do some eggs to go with it. Right, you can see I've got some tortilla chips in here. So I'm just going to pour over my salsa. And as this can be a breakfast dish, I'm going to put on my eggs. Have a slice of lime and a little bit of coriander to serve. Here we go, it's looking good. Smelling good too. I first had this in a Mexican restaurant in um, Barcelona actually. Um, my girlfriend ordered it, she likes it and uh, it's very nice. Mmm, it's one of them tortillas. Mmm, still a little bit crisp but also soft. And I didn't overdo it on the chilli. <laughs> I can taste it, but didn't overdo it. Oh, I'm done. Did quite well. Suppose I'd better pack away. Wonder what this tent's going to be like. We'll see in a sec. Big tents are lovely when you're in them and can warm them as well and stand up in them, but getting them home and drying them is another story. <laughs> Definitely a bit of condensation in here, but I guess I've got to do the reverse, which will mean popping down the top. Oh, splashed with the condensation. <laughs> and then going around the outside. Looks like a flower, doesn't it? So I've got to close it down a bit, I guess. Mm -hmm. 
check that out, I actually went back in the bag. There wasn't much of a weather test. I mean, it, it stood up to melting rain on it, but I've not had it out in the rain. Um, I quite liked it though. There's a few points I'm a bit worried about in the rain, but I have to try that another time. <laughs> right guys, I think I'll leave that here because I've got a couple of trips to go with my gear. Thank you very much for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. Goodbye.